Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about our work course to find incremental few shot learning. Our motivation comes from the product visual search application. Product visual search is normally driven by a deep model pre-trained on a large scale private image set, while at inference it needs to recognize consumer images at a finer granularity. For example, given a tree-like product catalog at amazon.com, there is a class hierarchy per tree. However, it is rare to add the root-like categories, such as fruits, breads, meat, and so on. That is because such catalogs have set the routine by semantic abstraction and approximate summarization. In practice, it is common to add leaf-like categories along the use of Amazon, such as under fruits and snacks, there is a long list that changes daily. Like humans, new labels of an item can be perceived later and then refine models' knowledge. There exit some related settings such as class incremental learning, few shot class incremental learning and course to find hierarchical learning and several methods have been proposed to solve the challenges in these settings. In our paper, we are interested in a course to find incremental few shot learning problem. The model is pre-trained for course classes in the base session and is required to continuously and incrementally learn fine classes from few shot images. There exit two questions. First, how to explore a finer embedding space from course labels. Second, how to balance old knowledge and current learning. Now, we elaborate on how we train a generalizable base embedding space. We follow Anchor to use Moco as the backbone. We use a combination of supervised learning with course labels and self-supervised contrastive learning to better explore fine cues in the course labeled images. As shown in figure, when fine-tuning ResNet 12 in Safar with contrastive loss, the accuracy of fine classes is much higher than straightforward training on course labels. As past samples are not retained, we store the classifier weights per session to implicitly retain the label information. And we only train the augmented weight matrix where in the new session. In the new session, we minimize the cross-entropy loss on the support set. Comparing left with right of figure, we find that freezing classifier weights outperforms not doing so. This figure shows the norm of raw weights in the last layer for old and new classes. The linear classifier will have a larger weight for the current class's neurons, inducing the queries of previous classes to be likely assigned into current class's region in the embedding space. Instead, we compute the logit using the normalized inner product and then apply softmax to the rescaled logit. Then we provide the theoretical analysis of our method for stability plasticity. First, we define stability decay of the models and lower stability decay means the model can better avoid catastrophic forgetting. We propose that the model adopting the options of freezing and normalizing the classifier weights are more stable than model adopting either of those two operations. The model which doesn't do any operations is the worst. Besides that, we also prove that our model remains plasticity. That is, in the new session, the loss can be reduced as the parameters update. For the experiments, we modify three popular hierarchy datasets so far, breeds and tiered image net to see two FSCL setting. Figure shows the confusion matrices of our method tested on breeds, living 17. We compare our method with several FSCL methods. This table reports each session accuracy. Our method can have a better balance between old classes and new classes and have a better performance than other FSCL methods in our settings. Then we will show the ablation experiment's results. As shown in Fig A, our method obtains a better performance than not using MoCo in the base session, which verifies that the contrastively learned base model helps fine-grained recognition. Fig B illustrates that freezing embedding weights induces a slightly better performance than not freezing them. As shown in Fig C, there is severe catastrophic forgetting of both fine and coarse knowledge when not freezing the weights of previously seen classes. As shown in Fig D, when we freeze weights of previous classes and only tune the weights of new classes without normalization, the model performs stably worse. To summarize, the contribution of this work is twofold. We propose a new problem for incrementally learning course define with a few shots. We theoretically analyze why learning, freezing, and normalizing weights effectively. For C2 FSCIL with a linear classifier, weights seem to be the knowledge. However, how generic are our findings in practice? Can they be applied to general FSCL? How does a class hierarchy make a difference? Future work will include examining those questions, nonlinear classifiers, and so on. Thanks for watching.